hearing things that you may not necessarily like, but move through that process, you'll learn and gain information and hopefully secure the right solution for your business, which we have done. You're at Integrated Document Solutions. Uh, we are an agency of the state of Colorado. I am the Colorado State Printer. I oversee all things print in the state and also all things mail in the state. Primarily, we're a transactional printer in-house. So the majority of the work that runs through the equipment here is transactional, probably about 90%. But then the, the work that we can't handle, we actually contract out with uh, private sector vendors. And that represents a third of what we do on a monthly basis. Um, so that, it's a lot, but we don't want to be everything to everybody, but we want to be a resource to everybody. So if it has anything to do with printing, we're their first thought. We are the primary vendor for Department of Motor Vehicle Agency and uh, as well as the counties. So in our, in our state, we're structured where the counties have to manage a component of that. But because of what we do, and the economies of scale, we can actually bring them in, share the cost savings with them, and you know, really help the state in a lot of different ways. And so with that uh, relationship, we have actually expanded that, and now we're doing utility bills, uh, we're doing tax statements for municipalities as well. And our statute allows us to do any business with a governmental institution within our state. Our journey to identifying a vendor was an interesting one. So when we first started, we were looking for a, an inkjet platform, continuous fed, but we were also looking to procure the ADF solution at the same time. And uh, I, I had it in my mind, I could make this all work. Well, that was a failed solicitation. It did not work. Um, so we had to roll it back. And one of the, the challenges we had is the state was moving to a new accounting system, which we absolutely had to have an ADF solution in place. The continuous fed solution wasn't really reliant on getting this done. So I had to separate them. So as a public entity, we still had to run a solicitation. But in that solicitation, that's when Solomar came to the table, along with um, you know, other companies in that arena, and proposed things to us. The one most important factor from my perspective is being able to, it's, I, I've said it before, the DIY model. Because a lot of our vendors at the time said, yeah, we can build a workflow for you. It's gonna take six to eight weeks, and it's gonna cost you $10,000. That's great if you have the money but I'm a public entity, I don't have that kind of budget. And so I turned to my team and said, this is what I'm thinking. Do you think you have the skills to do it? And thankfully Gilbert said yes. <laughs> and so we moved forward into a, a, a situation where we were going to manage it ourselves. The solution we ended up with, that was a primary component in our decision. And that's where we are today with Solar. From an implant perspective, that is a conversation that will always be present. What you need to be able to do is um, articulate very well to the leadership, not only why we exist, but the savings that we bring. And then there's a value proposition component to that. Private service, they can do it, they can, they can tell you they'll be dedicated to you. But as an employee, you, you, there's just a level of dedication that you feel supporting it. And working in the state, it's not only supporting the, the state entity, but it's the taxpayers of the state that we support as well. Definitely a journey, for sure. We have gone from traditional in-house printer, where we had offset presses and we had high-speed copiers, to this transactional world we live in. Spent a lot of time asking a lot of questions, uh, not only from a variety of vendors, but my peers as well, just to understand where we were going with this. The evolution has been amazing and it has allowed that growth to take on additional customers. Uh, Department of Revenue is probably the most recent one and I did a case study recently about that one. Uh, they, because of COVID, decided to shut their shop down and they were a um, decent size uh, in-house print shop, print center, uh, about 12 million impressions annually, uh, 6 million letters. And 
we wanted to take that on. We'd actually been talking to them about migrating for a long time and COVID actually forced the issue. When we moved over, if we didn't have the technology and the understanding of what we do, it would have been very difficult. The reality of our situation was we had a 40% increase in what we do and we had a 30% reduction in our staff. With that additional volume also came the Department of Revenue, as I mentioned earlier, who decided to shutter their operation and brought that volume in addition to what we had already seen in gains. And that's part of the 40% increase. Working through it was challenging, but as I mentioned too, with Department of Revenue, if we didn't have the solutions we had in place, we couldn't have onboarded them the, the way we did as quickly as we did. Um, one of the um, points that we were trying to sell to them years ago was the ability to suppress and approve before something went to the printer. Because in their world, they would manually pull, they'd, they'd run the entire file, you'd have a stack of 5,000 sheets, and somebody had to go hunt for a page in that 5,000 to pull. But with Department of Revenue, when they came on board, um, we showed them how they could do that digitally and save time. So being able to go back and tell the customer, not only can you do this quicker, but we're gonna save money in printing. We're not gonna print. We don't have to worry about catching it on the mail side if we missed it on the print side. So being able to have a tool where we could do that is important. It really came in handy when we had our governor decide they wanted to do this large check run that we ended up doing. Well, the Department of Revenue um, needed to suppress tax returns for people who owed money. And they weren't sure how they were gonna do it. And we were like, we have a solution for you already. And so every morning we would receive these files and in the first week it was 500,000 a day. And so they had a team that would log in and you know, review and approve before it would release to the printer. And that process, um, they, they talk about it today. And we use SoloTrack to manage that process for the Department of Revenue, um, being able to log in through the dashboard and view what they were going to see, you know, the PDFs, being able to suppress them. Um, it gave them the ability to actually look at the uh, warrant ID as well and be able to record that, which they needed on their side, um, which they had never been able to do before. So they could actually preview that PDF, suppress or approve, and let it go into the production. Managing data, I think is probably the biggest one. Uh, you look at the, the vast amount of information that's out there and then what our customers are doing. The compliance components not only impact what the state gets from the federal level and what the state is doing internally, but then you think about it from a human touch point. So for instance, um, somebody who's on food assistance from the government, they may have to renew that before the end of the month and in order to maintain their food assistance. If we are not timely in getting that turned around, um, there, there would be an impact to that individual. A lot of entities don't think about printing and mail as life safety, but it is very much life safety. Department of Motor Vehicles stuff we do is important there as well. Uh, what we do with the voter registrations, we do that as well. I mean, everything we do touches somebody in the public in order for them to have an easier access to state services. And so not only the technology, but the printing and the solutions that we bring have to all work together in order to deliver that. And that's the value proposition we're looking for. I'm grateful for the leadership that has allowed this operation to grow the way it has. Um, I'm grateful for the team because without the team, you know, my, my crazy ideas don't blossom. <laughs> but you know, really looking at it and having the team that buys into an overall solution is one thing, but then you actually have to have the tools to execute. And that, that's one of the bigger challenges. hugely important. Honestly, we used it for just about everything that we do pre-flight before it gets to uh, the printer. So as far as for my job, it's the most important piece of software that I have. So many different things. I mean, I could probably sit here for a day and a half to, if, to really dig down into it, but the, the, the main things it does is, is the, the Rubica software is probably my favorite software because that's kind of the, the nuts and bolts of things, really. It does all the different things like adding the barcoding. Um, I can create reports out of it. 
I'm learning how to do XML files out of it. You can cover stuff up, but then when you get into the other stuff they have that, that it intertwines with, the Soul Fusion software allows us to automate the Rubica processes as well as um, run the indexing all at the same time. The Soul Searcher software will also do the indexing and, and hand it off to Solatrack, which allows us to track things through the shop as well as um, create the barcoding that we need for the inserters in order to be able to uh, track all the way through the system, make sure that we have inserted and printed everything and that it gets out the door correctly. It's a fun job, I think. You know, I, I have a lot of fun um, learning different things about software. That The one thing about their software is there's so many things that you can do that I, I learn something new about it just about every day. Different formats is, is, is a problem. You know, not every customer can send us the format that we're looking for. So being able to take those different kind of formats and put them into the format that we're looking for in order to process them correctly and really kind of get them re really where we want in order to be able to print and mail and do, do the things that we're trying to do. They're not always aligned, that's for sure. Most of the time when we have, we have pre-meetings, we try to tell them what we kind of would like to expect. It doesn't always work out that way because different customers don't quite have the same kind of software or anything like that. A lot of times we'll, we'll take what they give us. We have the software in place to be able to make conversions and do those kind of things to make sure that we can get it into the form that we want and then be able to run it through the software the way we want. Most of the time we get PDF files and we'll index them and use that information the way we need it to get it to ready for print. But other times I'll get data files, CSV files, things of that nature, and we'll take those files and apply them to PDF templates in order to do basically to get the same production out of them. Ready PDF is, is a great piece of software. Previously, before we had it, I was still using another part of the software that would, I would basically have to take a, a PDF to a postscript and then a postscript back to a PDF in order to get the, the fonts embedded because one of our, our customers just cannot embed their fonts. Once we got Ready PDF, I would say that the, the previous thing that I was doing took roughly 20 to 30 minutes just to, uh, just to go through the software and do the conversion and then back to it, do the embedding. Where Ready PDF, I can do it in about two minutes. And then as far as uh, what Ready PDF does with the file is because it, it optimizes the file and, and really can minimize the file size, when it gets over to the printer, the rip time was roughly between 13 and 15 minutes for, for our biggest customer's file. And now it, we, I think it takes between two and a half to five minutes, somewhere in there. Now once it goes over there, it gets in there faster. The operator can get to printing it faster. Then it gets to the insert faster. So it just, it makes it flow much, much quicker through, through, through the whole entire system. The Rubica software in general, um, we, can, we can add a mark step at, at any point within the process. So, you know, Let's say they want to they want to add some kind of a, a message somewhere within the, within the file on the cover sheet or something like that. I don't know what what it would take another company to do, but using Rubica, we can we can do that in less than five minutes. Really, it's 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 a really simple process to add that kind of messaging. So I, I think it's it's extremely beneficial. I've dealt with a lot of vendors in the past, and their support team is at the top. Anytime that I need to get a hold of them and ask them questions, they always find a way. And if they can't, they'll go back to the developer to see if the, de the developer can give them any insight. And if you know it's something that had never been done before, they're always willing to take in those kind of things and talk to the developer and bring them out in different builds. Support all the way through the system is, is great. I think it's going to continue to do what we've been doing for several years now. And, you know, every time we look for something or we get something new, we always look to their software to try and see if they they've figured out a solution before we've asked the question and vice versa. If we see something that they've never seen before, I think the handoff for them to, to be able to learn, OK, people are looking at this now. Maybe we can implement that into our software. I think that the relationship there is, is great on both sides. It's the right solution for us. Um, I would say it's the right solution for entities that are similar to us. Um, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, I would encourage everybody to 
dig deep and understand what they do and do what we did. We asked a lot of questions. And when you are open to hearing things that you may not necessarily like, but move through that process, you'll learn and gain information and hopefully secure the right solution for your business, which we have done.